Paul H. Your girl, Adiola. Finally, my people, finally. Oga Buari and the Senate released the list. Oh, yes, yes, the long-awaited list of the ministers that will work with Mr. President in this new administration. I am so sorry, Dr. Damages, my brother. Your name was not on the one that was released last week, but please do not cry. Don't lose hope. Eh? They release more names next week. You not do it. You never know. So, my people, I have some issues with this list. First of all, 21 names have been released so far, and I know that the rest will be released next week. But to but to of the 21 names, how come there are only three women? I was like, what? 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 That is not, how, it's not even possible. Eh? Get me a gap while you speed dial. Shello? Shello one two, shello, shello, is this Mr. President? Oh, you not do it, eh? What's up, my oga? Eh, it's your girl, Adiola, it's your girl, Adiola. <laughs> Mr. President, I thought you had me on speed dial. Eh, what happened? How could you do this without calling me, eh? Hello, bad network. Hello, 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 can you hear me? Bad network, I say, I saw rock. Can you believe? Nigerians, you guys, you tire me, oh. You tire me. When will you stop seeing women as just there to cook your food or take care of your children? When will you understand that men and women are equal? Eh? In fact, I take that back. We are not equal. <laughs> women are more capable than men, so you understand. I'm not saying that because I'm a woman, but what we women can juggle in addition to our career. Uh -uh, men cannot, no? They cannot. Yet they think that they are smarter. Brother Chike, sit down. You don't have to smack the TV because I'm talking about equal representation of women. Ah, what is wrong with you? Let me talk. A woman will cook, clean, take care of children, manage your home, and on top of that, will work as bankers, as teachers, engineers, pilots, eh? What's up, my sisters? Doctors, yes, thank you. Ah, what's up, there? This is my friend, eh? In Andrea, Dr. Binkwe. And TV presenters, journalists, you name it. There is nothing that a man can do that women cannot do better. So why are we not equally represented in government now? Especially considering the fact that women are the ones that suffer the most based on the decisions made by men in politics or the decisions that they refuse to make. What's the point of having more than half of a population being oppressed? Uh, it's not good for the society, it's not good for the economy, it's not good for families. Thank you, my sister. Tell them, tell them. Every single day, Nigeria loses about 2,300 under five year old children, as well as 145 women of childbearing age. Every year, 36,000 Nigerian women die of pregnancy or childbirth complications. This makes Nigeria the second largest contributor to the under five mortality rate, as well as maternal mortality rate in the whole world. Only 35% of deliveries are attended by skilled birth attendants in Nigeria. I mean, what are you talking about? Uh -uh. Are you surprised that Nigerian lawmakers, ministers, whatever, have not drafted any bill to address all these important issues? Like I said, men cannot think about many things at a time, at least so many of them. So you cannot really blame them. That is why you need women in politics to think about the 2,000 stuff that men will not think about that will actually make life better for citizens. And this has nothing to do with Western culture. I beg in fact, Rwanda in Africa has the highest proportion of women in parliament in the whole world, 63%. Have you been to Senegal? Senegal has equal representation of women in government. If the governor is a man, the deputy must be a woman. If the local government chairman is a woman, the deputy will be a man. The number of male senators in Senegal is the same as the number of female senators. They organize trainees for their women, they empower their women from the grassroots, and guess what? They're empowering the whole country. Over the course of two days, they learn about women's rights, how to run for office in the upcoming municipal elections, and how to promote themselves as candidates through local media. Senegal is undergoing a sweeping change, surpassing the United States by 40 spots in gender political empowerment. So why can't we do the same in Nigeria? I, I thought this is a time of change. I thought now women will be well represented. We are still a traditional country, but now they're ministers, um, they have incomes, they have authority, they have power. Of course, the whole dynamics, uh, man, f male, female dynamics uh, change, and, and that's good for the society. Thank you, my sister. Oga Bwari, I am highly disappointed. You have disappointed mama. No, 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 I'm highly disappointed. During elections, you'll be running around women. You want women to vote for you, eh? But you don't want them in position of authority. What is the meaning of that? I know that some women have not done well. Yes, I know that. We what is wrong with you? Did I mention anybody? Ah, ah, 
what is wrong with you now? You know you are on your own. You are always looking for trouble. As I was saying, some women have not done well, but we can't use a few women to judge all women. We have more men that have messed up big time, big time. Does that mean they will say that men should no longer be in power? There are thousands of women that would do well. Can you believe that some people still write me? That how dare I talk about politics? That what do women know about politics? <laughs> I have a lot of work to do when I become a first lady, okay? Let's just move on. My second issue with this list, eh, Mr. Presido, is that I thought that we voted for change, eh? No, be so, I thought this is a new era. Because many of the people on the list have been in power from before, before, before I was born. Yes, I know I'm only 16, that doesn't matter. 16 is still a long time ago. Can you imagine? Many of these people have been governors, senators, ministers. Now they are ministers again. For you, we are recycling the same people. The average age of the people on the list is like 55 or 60 or something. Again, young people don't feel represented with this list. We don't feel represented. We don't feel like we're part of this government. Do you know how many young people are able and eager to serve their country? Are you waiting for them to be corrupt before you will appoint them? When we were young, you told us that we are the leaders of tomorrow, eh? <laughs> Yet you refuse to live. Is it in our 60s and 70s that we we'll start learning how to lead? Again, this is not a western thing. In Rwanda, again, a lot of 30-something year olds are in government. In fact, they have a youth political leadership program where they empower young people. Again, Oga Buari, so many young people helped to get you elected. At least if I don't know of anybody else, there's this lady called Buari Girl. You guys know about her now? She was rallying people to vote for you. This lady from Lagos, a toilet, she was going from door to door, from house to house, just like many others on social media. Why not give them a chance to prove what they can do for their country, eh? They, are, they really annoy me. Again, I have to come and save the day. Can you imagine? They are waiting for me to become first lady before I fix all these things. Why, why must you wait for me? Ah, you can just fix it now, eh? But for you, other people are leaving us behind. Even in Africa, when it comes to women representation and youth representation in government, maybe you say that we are the leaders of tomorrow. When will tomorrow come? When will tomorrow come, eh? Getting me upset? Getting me upset? You guys know that I really don't know much, but this, that they are upsetting me. Guess what? I'm just giving it through.